it is finally time. US General Series 3 Toolbox Tour. We're gonna go over what I use and how I've organized it in the toolbox. We got a pile of boxes off camera. My shop is a mess and I'm not picking it up until this video gets out. For the money, I don't think you can beat the 56 inch. Even the 72 in the same exact box is not as good a deal as the 56. This is all ratcheting wrench stuff. Star of this is definitely the toolbox widget. It fit a ton of wrenches. Just the Milwaukee alone would have filled this entire drawer. So this is all the metric. Man, I just love the way these feel in your hand and they grip like crazy. Uh, this is the regular Milwaukee ratcheting wrench that you flip um, to change. And then I have the corresponding flex head as well. Uh, I don't reach for the flex head usually that often. Uh, I prefer this simple style, uh, unless I need some kind of an angle, then, then the, obviously the flex head is the way to go. So and I've got those staggered. Um, this is pretty handy. I've used this a couple times, this handy clamp. Uh, pretty, pretty neat. Uh, at first I thought it was kind of gimmicky, but um, it has helped out on a couple tight to reach areas on the tractor. I have um, these Ulsa tools. These are their stubby wrenches. I really like these. They're like 122. Uh, fantastic quality, really, really nice quality tool. I've got the metric and SAE set for that. After that, we've got Icon. These are the Harbor Freight premium brand. I got these so that I could have a little angle on the ratchet head, uh, and I wanted one a set with uh, that were reversible without having to flip the, the wrench around in case I ever had a situation where I, I couldn't, I didn't have room to take the the unit off to switch to reverse the direction. That has happened to me before. Before we get too deep into this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We've got our double-sided box flex um, from Gear Wrench. These are, are pretty nice. These are the 90 tooth version. I do like the long beam. Uh, I am afraid to break them though because the amount of leverage that you can impart on these. Um, then we've got some Gear Wrench S-shaped. I don't use these very much. They're uh, they're nice, um, good finish, good ratcheting setup. They are really good for reaching in small, shallow places to, to capture the fastener. I do think it's handy to have these. I decided to purchase these instead of the U style or half moon style, so I just have these. Over here we have the SAE um, Milwaukee stuff. They're the regular on the outside, then on the inside I've got the flex head. The regular combination wrenches, uh, these are predominantly all gear wrench. I only use these to back up an impact or a power tool. I don't like to back up impact with, with a ratcheting wrench or just the open end. I like to put this guy on. So I have a set of these. These were pretty affordable. I've got the, the full set here and I've got the SAE here. This guy here is so big, he doesn't really fit in, it, in the toolbox widget at all. He's so big and heavy that he doesn't even fit in the slanted one because you have to have like five wrenches in it or it just falls over. Then I've got the Milwaukee uh, flare nut wrenches. Very, very typical Milwaukee. They feel really good in the hand as well. Uh, then after that, we have a pretty, pretty sweet drawer. This is all my Capri tool stuff. Man, these are great. They look beautiful. These are awesome for hydraulic fittings. This is their 3060 set. Really, really nice wrenches. Uh, then I've got their Wave Drive Pro. Uh, set up here with these awesome, uh, these are great for rounded out bolts and stuff like that. They just bite like crazy. They're some of the best uh, I've got actually, they're, they're nuts. Then over here we've got um, some pretty nice Capri wrenches. These are the double sided thin ones. Uh, these I've used quite a bit, very useful on hydraulic fittings as well. Uh, these I purchased just to round out the Capri collection for stuff I might want. They do take up a fair amount of space too. They're hard to pack in here but pretty cool. We got some uh, Vera or Wera um, Joker wrenches, uh, adjustable wrenches, kind of neat design. I don't use them a ton. And some Craftsman ones back there. This is the socket drawer, mostly Milwaukee. We got Milwaukee metric, uh, half inch and three eighths inch um, impact sockets. These are great, I love them. They're super visible, they hold up good really like those got the milwaukee uh half inch three uh three eighths and uh quarter inch of course i got the sae stuff over here as you can see 
uh, all in the toolbox widget. I like the toolbox widget. Pretty nice. They got the missing tool indicator and such. That's pretty handy. I've also got these gear wrench uh, crow's feet, which I've used a little tiny bit, not all that much. These take up a ton of room uh, on the toolbox widget. I think they'd be better in an organizer like Tekton makes ones that are, I think are superior to these. And they have a nice little tray that these sit up in. In fact, I bought the tray and when we see 19 millimeter here, it does not fit. So that kind of sucks. They're, these are, the gear wrench ones are thicker than the Tekton ones. The Tekton ones must be thinner. So that kind of sucks. I really wanted to stack them up on here because you can see, boy, they take, they take up a lot less room in an organizer like that. We got some Craftsman 12 point uh, hiding somewhere. Uh, we got some Craftsman 6 point. Uh, we got some Craftsman uh, various specialty, uh, male tight star, Torx, fill ups and regular screwdriver type sockets we got some of those we've got this handy uh, set here from craftsman these uh, are passed through and they do allow you to get pretty pretty low profile i've had these forever excellent got a nice little uh, k tool uh, wrench um, adapter for like a breaker bar or ratchet this is really handy for some additional leverage uh, got all my extensions in here pretty nice get some impact ones and most of these are milwaukee uh, I use the Milwaukee stuff a lot, which are Milwaukee quarter inch. We got the, the 3 8 inch and we got the, the half inch. It's hard to see because I got it in the back here. So the half inch here. Uh, I mostly use 3 8 That's the most common. Uh, the Milwaukee stuff just feels really good in the hand. The selector is nice. It's low enough profile where it doesn't catch on stuff. Really good. I recently got these um, uh, Ulsa tools. Um, ratchets here. These are pretty cool. These are made by SK Tool. Uh, I was lacking a large uh, half inch, uh, you know, with a longer bar here or handle. Um, so this this is the one. I haven't used it yet. Got some rocket sockets. Man, you got to have something like this in your in your toolbox for sure. I keep it all in this case. I could lay it out on the organizers here like this, but I think. This is fairly efficient, and a lot of times when you grab one of these, you're gonna be grabbing like a size smaller than it actually needs because it's rounded out. So you don't quite know exactly which one to grab, so I would grab the whole kit. Uh, I got some Tekton, a Tekton uh, half inch breaker bar, which I use uh, quite a bit. And we've got the Tekton uh, just twist type click torque wrench. So on the top of the side cabinet, we have additional um, ratchet. We've got our uh, SK tool, Ulsa tool, uh, stubby uh, 3 8 and also tool. I forget what kind of what style this is called, but these are the cat's meow for a lot of stuff. The only drawback to this style is that the head is so damn big, it is difficult to get into a lot of places, you know, but it's very adjustable and you can make it straight and it's like a screwdriver, which, you know, increases the speed a lot. Smaller torque wrenches, these are both uh, Tekton ones and these are reversible. Pretty nice. Use them quite a bit. Got a quarter inch SK slash also tool. Uh, these are these are really nice. They the heads have some good tension on them, so you can put them where they want. And they'll, they'll where you want it, and they will stay. Pretty nice. Really cool Craftsman ratchet, the pass through style one that I've had for eons. So next up, uh, we've got our screwdriver drawer. I've played with this a lot since I got the toolbox widgets. Man, these are these. These toolbox widgets are excellent for this. So I tried a new thing here where I reorganized it and I put uh, some of the handles on the other side to save some space. I just don't like it like this. I don't like it at all. I, I mean, when they stay nice and tight together, they do look nice. You know, that looks nice, but uh, the minute you shut the drawer, these things walk off like that. The ones on this side don't. And here I typically have, you know, the Milwaukee screwdrivers. I've been reaching for these first more and more and more. I like the grip on it. Um, they are harder to clean than the Craftsman ones. Uh, so if you get stuff on here, they it can stain that nice red uh, plasticky stuff. You don't notice a lot on the grippier part, but you definitely can get pretty good torque with these. So I, I do like these, these are nice. So next we have the plier organizer drawer. Uh, so this uses utilizes the toolbox widget organizers, which you know, honestly transform your toolbox, highly recommended. Uh, I've got a slew of uh, these Milwaukee pliers, really nice. 
Uh, I simply chose these. They're you know pretty much the same as a lot of the ones out there. Uh, I like uh, the red and the adjuster. You can wedge a uh, screwdriver and turn it or you can clamp onto it with something else. It's flat instead of that knurled rounded thing which does nothing if you try to put another pair of pliers on it. I like this a lot and that's really the only reason I purchased. I am a Milwaukee fanboy but that's why I purchased uh, that particular one. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, this little craftsman tool set I've had for years. It doesn't get a ton of use because I forget I have it quite often, but it's pretty nice. I got some electrical pliers and stuff, uh, pretty handy. Um, the, the side cabinet that I purchased, uh, one of the things I got this for was actually to relocate these to some uh, area that's not quite as tall. I don't, I'm not in love with how high they are up here. All right, so over here we have the uh, Bond Haas or however you say it. Uh, their collection of T-handle, SAE, Metric, and Torque. All right, after that, in the next drawer, we have all my roll punches and stuff. These are really handy uh, for doing almost anything on a tractor where you have holes and you have to realign everything again. Uh, I got some pry bars in here. I uh, got some chisels and stuff. I don't use these a ton. Tool for popping those plastic uh, push pins out. Uh, I use this quite a bit. Before I had this, I used these a lot. Uh, these are just some Amazon special. Uh, they work pretty good though. Some more of those push pin tools, some roll pin punches. You never know when you're gonna need those. I use this thing, oh my God, I use this a ton. This is an automatic center punch. I use this quite a bit. More punches, some files. I do get good use out of these. File card, of course. Can't have a file without a file card. Uh, so just assorted files. And I got some picks under here that I don't use very often. I got this miscellaneous big drawer. So I've got a lot of large things in here. Grip mat guys, are, these are all right. These came free with uh, with some of the toolbox widgets I got. I haven't used it yet. A little cold craftsman strap wrench style stuff. More stuff for that Boris centipede. <clears throat> Things like that. All right, down at the very bottom, three quarter inch torque wrench, label stuff. This one here, I've got some blow molded cases in. <laughs> this is a very handy little kit. Uh, that I got on Amazon that just helps you uh, discover what the thread is and various bolts and such. I didn't want to do the large piece that you just put on the wall to thread check. I wanted one I could take to a machine and do it there. I thought this was a lot, a lot easier to, to use. Top and die set. This is ancient Astra uh, rivet set, um, nut cert set. So we have a Rhino USA tire plug kit, um, just a block leak down tester basically. We have the power drawer, which I actually use now for power stuff. I still think it's a waste of space. It's very shallow. You can't put tall stuff in here. Like you can't put an M18 charger and an M18 battery of any amp hour configuration in here at all. I don't think you can even do it with an M12. So this is my center punch and drill bit drawer. You can see here that I have um, some Norman uh, Norseman drill bits, got some older Irwin ones. We've got some various, you know, screwdriver handles and other bit, bit extensions. We've got some deburring tools, um, and we have uh, some other smaller bits, some tectin bits here. Then we have some of these longer organizers that are filled with bits from other toolkits that I don't uh, really have anymore. <laughs> now we have a very highly utilized drawer of mine. This one has all my measuring devices in here. We've got some razor blades and, and cutters and stuff like that in here. I really like these Craftsman measuring tapes. I also have Milwaukee ones, but honestly, the Milwaukee ones are not very good. The Craftsman ones are much better. Uh, they've got the fractional measurements right on there. Up here, we have more measurement tools, uh, mostly for electrical stuff. And we have some micrometers uh, for more precise measuring. Uh, I even have a hydraulic pressure gauge uh, and of course, electrical testers. Up top, uh, I just keep odds and ends up here. Some cash that my wife doesn't know about. Spacers and a few extra little bits here and there. Uh, remotes for the TV. It's just too shallow to do anything with. It's hard to reach up here. I'm 5'9", and I can barely get up in here. After the toolbox widget reorganization, I was able to free up a ton of space. I had this box and a side cabinet filled. Now this drawer is empty. 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 This bottom one is mostly empty. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's a wrap.